Okay, and this one uh, says place a card under the current location card. When the location card is removed from the game, shuffle this reality impact card back to the final step. All right. Money's number two, and what are we doing on this one? The heat. Yeah, they're both the heat. Uh, electrical part, a filter. Yes! And a weapon part. Alright, weapon part. I'm doing a mechanical part. Filter. Electrical. Oops. I don't know why you're trying to hit I don't know, because it's a habit. We're going to take that. <laughs> filter, front components. Did we get a mechanical part? Yeah. Oh, so we're going I think, right? right? Did we get a mechanical part? Yeah. So. What was electrical? Oh, What's in the bottom? Jewelry, electrical, filter, mechanical. weapon. Oh, uh, it was electrical instead of mechanical. Oh. So we just need <clears throat> a mechanical part. But we're still exploring, so we're doing all right. So we shovel this back in, all right? Yep. Okay, so we can ignore this card or search the heat. Return two card exploration cards and raise the noise by one, or raise the noise by one and roll for noise in order to draw. So we have what, one, two, three, four cards left. No, we've still got to get out of the deal free. Wish our luck, what do you think? Yeah, might as well. So we raise one, then we're rolling? Yep. Mm -hmm. Raise one, then we'll roll. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, you want me to roll? Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Here we go. You can do it. Oh, oh no. Five. Okay, so it goes back down to one. We'll do the residence card. Rats. <laughs> Whew, it was nothing, just some rats. You may return one to expiration card to try and catch one. Food? Food? It, I believe it would be, let's see, perform a backstab. Uh, if the character's present, deal three or more wounds. Uh, present, uh, so they both would get a roll. Ah, okay. So if they can deal three or more wounds, they manage to catch and kill something that might be edible after proper preparation. Add one raw food to the findings pile. So. Fourth shot. Look at rats, okay. here it is. So we have to discard one of these. Now the characters both have to roll, and we got to get three damage, and we have to use the gray die because they don't have any weapons. So that's, someone's got to get a two, and the other one has to get a one or two twos. Otherwise, it won't work. Or we get tempt fate if yeah. that comes up. Mm. It's always that tempt fate. So. <laughs> okay, so we didn't catch any rats. That's all right. Rats. It gets removed from the game. I've had worse things happen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but still we didn't use our hiding place either. Right, we're, we're still doing good. All right, map card. There's no rubble for that corner. Is there? No. Okay, uh, no rubble. Discard this card and draw a new one. Uh, a door. Peek through the keyhole. Return one expiration card. To look at the next card from the unknown deck, or we can enter, raise the noise by one, or roll for noise. So we got two options. Roll for noise. Enter. 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 So we're going to enter. Ooh. <laughs> two. So we're okay. So it's got to be raised though, or no? By one per um, right? Or we're going to just roll. I think we just rolled. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was an gotcha. option. Gotcha. Okay. The last two, reality impact. Something unexpected has happened. We draw a card from the colors deck to determine the color of the script. Black. Hmm. What's the, uh, the exploration one? Key we're going from. Uh, we are going to do. Colors deck, then draw a card from the exploration deck and check the number with that color. So it's the X. Draw a card from the colors to determine the color script, then draw a card from the expiration deck. Ah. I see. And then check the number of that color. Okay, so. That's new. What, that's never happened before. Yeah. So that can. So we're not going to go off location, it'll be off of this card. And it's black. Black. Alright, so 894. 
We've never been here before. Let's look inside. Click. What? What was that? It's mine. Choose one character present. They just stepped on a mine. Oh, shoot. Sure. Uh, it hasn't exploded yet. We suspect that the moment they raise their foot, that'll be it. Uh, there are some more of us. There are two there. So it's, it was either by itself or with, oh, with my people. So... Three options here. We got last chance. We're with you. We'll try slowly to get your foot off the mine and replace we'll it with some rubble. Or we'll get to a safe distance and then you should try to move away carefully. Choose who leaves, except the character standing on the mine. Raise the misery of all retreating characters by one. Or we have stay here. We'll get some help. We'll be back before you notice we've gone. We leave the unlucky person alone and get as far away from the inevitable explosion as possible. <laughs> <laughs> we know that we won't find any help anyway. So, we either run from them, we get to a distance and get misery, or we try to put rubble on top of the mine. We'll go for the rubble. Yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing this goes wrong, we just lose them both then. Maybe. We don't know, we'll see. <laughs> oh, shit. This can't work, unless miracles are real. Roll the black die. If there are more characters here, add three to the result. And then if it's one through seven, I see 1563, or if it's a roll result of eight through 10, to see 269. Shit. So we don't know what it's gonna be. We don't know if we're gonna roll high or low, but we do get to add plus three to it, so probably want a high result. Okay, we'll see what's on 1563. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Someone's First, we hear something like a spark crackling. A fraction of a second seems an eternity. At the same moment, a ball of fire and shrapnel engulfs everything. Walls collapse and the explosion flattens everything in its way. Remove this character from the game. If there were more characters, remove all of them from the game. Holy shit! We just killed two people off. Oh, holy shit. Just like that. We were doing so good, too. Oh. Wow. Now we probably can't bring any of our shit back, can we? No. We don't have anybody scavenging now. <laughs> They're both dead. If we gotta leave someone there, how's that gonna work? That card. Uh, we'll have his actions. We'll go outside and try and find somebody. Well, I'll look at that, Hopefully. Guess. Wow, that's basically going to be our... <laughs> Is that game? No, we still have one character. As long as we have a character in the game, we're good. But this is going to be extremely tough now. Because, ugh. Now we're only down to two people. And unless we did the action twice. We could do. We could go outside twice and try and get two people. Get rid of this shit. No, uh, no that stays there. Because now it's just sitting there, exposed. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. Part of the game. I know. <laughs> wow. Alright. See what I mean? How it's just random creative. You know, Never know what's going to happen. Shitty about this or my incident last night? Oh, your lamp? Yeah, the landlines. Yeah. Couldn't get away from them. Died like six times. <laughs> oh. That was funny. You just come, come up dead. Dead. Yeah, I was like, damn, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I've been fine, but right, like, literally right after I hit the first one and died, by the time I got back to it, it started snowing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah it covered him up, yeah. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay, well, we won't bring anything back, so now we do the right night raid. So, we don't have any weapons. Punch him in the face. Kill so now we draw and resolve the first raid card here. It's a reality impact, which is kind of good, I guess. Something unexpected has happened. Draw a card from the colors deck to determine the color of the script. 
and reveal the top card of the Night Raids deck and check the number with the color on that. Red. Red. We will go. Let's see what it says. Seven. Our eyes open widely with utter dread. Five well armed soldiers surround our shelter. Their seemingly friendly shouts of, we only want to have a drink and sleep in a bed, are no comfort to us. We let them in. We definitely don't let them in. Those are our options. Oh, we, so, yeah, we have a choice. Kind of, yeah. Probably right, should let them in. <laughs> let them in. Like anybody want to stay? <clears throat> Soldiers come into our shelter. They smirk at one another. Was this a serious mistake? Discard all cigarettes, jewelry, 100% alcohol, and moonshine from the storage. Uh huh. There's nothing there. Got shit. On this night, all beds are unavailable. We don't have any beds. If we did, we'd have to pull them off the beds and set their fatigue to two. Also, if there's a woman in your group, the women, they both died. Soldiers won't leave her alone. Choose which female and going to risk our lives to protect her. Which we don't have anybody, so we're just gonna go with no. And of course, it happened. Roll black die and compare the result with the empathy of each character, but we don't have to worry about that because I mean, it just raised their misery, but we don't have any females, so back to the game. So nothing. So basically, nothing happened because we didn't have any women in the garden. like that poor bastard. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So now we just do the crime wave. We decide if we put. One of each, or just two two residents or two night raids into their decks. From these piles into here. What do you think? I don't understand what we're doing. Let's just do one of each. Because these cards are like the more difficult cards, mm -hmm. but after every every night there'll be a crime wave. We either take one of each, or two from two residents put them in, or two raid cards and put them in. Raid cards. Oh, yeah. okay. That's what we're doing. One of each. That'll work. I'm going to do the residence room on this. And then shuffle them. Well, we were doing good. <laughs> and we'll get lucky and get two people. What? You know, we got lucky on that night raid, so. Yeah. Step on one. <laughs> All right, so that's that. We're done exploring. So we'll get the here. So we'll go to the next step. It's done. We don't have a party to return. And nobody's wounded. So draw a fake card. <clears throat> Raise the wounds? No. Lower the illness? No. We don't have any cold. Okay, we uh, exchange the nearest small location. Do we have any small location? Yes, small is. Oh, well, we have two of them. Oh, the nearest. The nearest. So the quiet house will disappear then. And we got a derelict squat. And there's nothing really there for it. <laughs> okay, so you gotta remove that. What is the. Uh, this one shovels back in. Does it, oh, when that location card is removed from the game, mm -hmm. shuffle this so it was removed. Yep. Put that one back down. We don't have any weight token. Okay, we'll resolve Spirit A on all character cards. <laughs> What's that? Spirit A. A. Um, habit. Discard one coffee from the storage or raise his misery by one. We don't have any coffee, so it's misery. Hey. Is that one now? Damn coffee drinkers. <laughs> We do draw two narrative actions and we pick one to keep. Okay, we have got it. Play during scavenging phase. When resolving a findings card, you also find a knife. Or we have who's there. <clears throat> play at the end of any phase, draw and resolve two cards from the visitor's deck. Oh, that's what we needed. Does that mean yeah. we get our character? Yes, if we're drawing okay. two two visitors? Yes, that means we get two people back. Ooh. Fuck up dead people, then you don't really 
at the end of any phase. So we could do that at the morning, and then they get their actions at the daytime. Yeah, there we go. As soon as you bring them in, then they skip their action part. So that'll be our daytime. But if we play this at any phase, yeah, our day two, then we could just do the visitors thing right away after the event. We we'll have to do the event, and then we can. Is at the end of the phase. How many days is there, anyways? Thirteen. Yeah. We can, that's how many cards are in the event deck. Oh, okay. We're supposed to do the objectives too. It's like a side, one of the main actually. That's our missions, basically, to do the objectives. Right, Otherwise, so we get penalized. Too, oh, that's at the end of the chapter. Oh. Okay. So go ahead and do the top event card. See what it is. Shelling. If more than one character went scavenging during the previous night, your shelter becomes the target of a shelling. Distribute two wounds between any present characters and destroy one already built fitting card. Oh, it's not built. Ha ha, screw you. Not built, but he has two wounds. Uh, yes. Whew. This guy's and we have one cold in the cold space. And that gets greened. Alright, so we're gonna do this, get two cards from the visitor's deck right away. Move this from the game. Move it. Good. Reality impact. Something unexpected has happened. Draw a card from the caller's deck to determine the color of the script. Red. Alright, then reveal the top card of the visitor's deck and check the number with that color on it. 467. Okay, uh, a neighbor waves at us on the street. For the war, he was a mechanic. And today, he's still one, in a way. He runs up to us. Hey, how you doing? Staying alive? I'm just going to the river. Some bastards pulled down the cables again. Maybe you'd like to come and help. Going to the river now means repairing the tiny generator, an improvised structure on the river which creates weak, unstable electricity for a few houses. It's a sysfiend task. I have no idea. Sissyfiend, I guess. That's kind of what it spells like. But I don't know. <laughs> you repair it one day, and the next day, the whole thing drops into the river, it explodes from mortar fire, or gets stripped by thieves. It's easier to just give up on electricity. So, we can either help our neighbor repair the generator, or, unfortunately, we've got our own matters to take care of, maybe some other time. Generators are good. Well, I think we need that to get him to join us, right? Probably. So, that's my guess. So, we'll, we'll do. Sure we have much option. I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, we reach the river in a few minutes. Here you have to be just as careful as if you were walking through a minefield. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Across the river, snipers hide in the forest, forested hills. They're probably somewhere in the ruined village which sits close to the top of the main hill. But, they can be anywhere, really. Roll the black die. Oh boy. Result of one a page, result of two, a different page, and then result of three through ten is an entire different page. So I have no idea. Three, three, okay, we'll see what that is. Okay, wait here. First, I'll check what went wrong this time. A moment later, Mirko returns smiling. A branch. It was just a branch which got into the spokes and blocked the wheel. Everything's working again. We can go back. On our way back, Marco asks, Maybe you need a radio. I've got one. It's old, but it works. I could get a cable up to your place, and you can listen. It's always a bit more cheerful to have some extra entertainment. If you haven't crafted the radio yet, find the radio in the fine fittings deck and place it for free on any empty shelter space. Yeah. And it just says back to the game, so I don't know if we actually get them or not. Well, I said, find the number on the book of scripts, which you did, and there's all the corresponding text, so... Awesome. Dang it, we didn't... We didn't claim a visitor, but we got a radio, so that's actually good. I guess, I mean... Radio. <clears throat> Look at the... Ooh! Top two cards in the event deck, or the top card of the Night Rage deck. But we can relax. Roll black die result eight to ten. Lower the misery of the character placed here by one. Well, those are actions. I see. Those are your 
<laughs> I love that song. Alright, so where do we want to put the radio in? Does it make a difference really? Like, no. I mean, I'm just saying like if we build, you know, something in advance, there's got to be space beside it. I doubt we advance the radio, so put it in a spot that... Exactly. Like, it's building in a spot. Um, Wait, are these our spots now? That we yes, all these are available spots. Right? Even even the ladders are available spaces. Oh. It doesn't block them. It's just another space we can use. Oh, yeah, let's throw them up. Yeah, right there. Start right there. Sure. Till we craft it. Your card. All right, starving neighbor. Oh shit. A neighbor begs for food. You can spare. Uh, if you decide to share by discarding from the storage, one canned food, raw food, vegetable, or the black dye, and compare the result with each character's empathy, which we don't have any food, right? Nope. No food. All right. If you decide not to share, and you have uh, such tokens in the storage, which we don't, mm -hmm. um, if you do not have such tokens in the storage, nothing happens. No. Crap. <laughs> don't make it anyway. Oh, we got a radio out of it. Darn it. Something we're going to get people. I know, it, for free too. But hey, we got a radio. So. <laughs> Darn it. Well, we got one action. <laughs> going outside, what do you think? Nope. Yep. 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 Alright, so we're going to go outside. As long as you don't roll a one, roll the two. Oh, you are very close, <laughs> sir. Alright, so now draw and resolve one visitor card. Doctor. A traveling Is it a, a first arrival card? No. Okay, because we definitely have number of characters in the group is two or less. Search the visitor's deck for the first arrival card and resolve it. Oh, right. that's why. Damn, we had a doctor. Arrival! There we go. A malnourished stranger asks for shelter. It's a hunger of three. Okay. Um. Or what are we getting? If you decide to take this person in, draw a card from the unused character deck and then add it to your group. <clears throat> Place a level 3 hunger token on them. Which means they're gonna die. They're gonna die. Take what we can get. Right away. So. Hey, we can trade for mechanical parts. Do we need them? We do. Yeah. We don't have it, so. Knife, meds. What do you think? Should we trade with her? Because, I mean, if we take her in, she's going to die. Yeah, we can't. Or whoever it is. Yeah, take more yeah we can to trade with her, though. All that stuff. We can buy items from this person. So, let's see. Uh, trade commission at two. So, it's going to cost us two items. Should we take her in? Does she bring them items with her? Uh... Oh, we could do that and just let she her die. Well, yeah, she'll bring three mechanical parts, meds, and a knife to the storage. But our luck would probably get somebody awesome. But she'll, yeah, that's the other thing. We don't know who we're going to get. Oh, okay. But whoever it is is going to end up dying. Like, how long do we have to feed them? Um, since today's a new day. <laughs> I mean, our guy's going to be starving, too, because there's no food and there's no water. So it's like a double negative for him and the and her, so let's have we take our chances, maybe we'll get that's... food more. Hey, but we're outside. Can we we can't get all this stuff back, can we? No, that's that's still at that building. Because uh, we didn't bring anything back. Is that that building? That building's The building blew up. <laughs> so all that shit blew up. Go on. Hmm. I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works either. So I knew it said the building blew up and the characters died, but it didn't say anything about the items in the findings pile. So I'm not sure if those get blown up too, or if they were just... Looks like a tree there, maybe there's something like <laughs> There we go, yeah, we threw them out the window. Uh, trade sheet. So let's see, trading's in action available. Uh, it enables you to exchange your tokens, uh, the ones in the finding pile during scavenging, or the ones in the storage. Oh, we can trade the finding pile? Well, only if we were scavenging. So we have to trade from what we've got, which is not much, uh, for different tokens. Any available in the pool of a given script or card? 
before it begins, we have to pay the trade commission. It means we have to discard tokens of the total value, which is two. So we have to get rid of a value of two, which we don't have one that's a two. We have a three, a six, and a five. Uh, trade of a given card script. It represents the profit of a trader gains for bartering with you. Then we can exchange the tokens by discarding our tokens of total value equal to or higher than the value of the tokens we want to buy. Each token has a value shown in the yellow, which is the 5, 6, and the 3. Uh, water, wood, and components cannot be bought or sold and are never part of a trade. So basically, we have to get rid of a 2, and then we can trade up to 11 points of what she's carrying. Let's see, mechanical parts are 2 apiece, meds, meds are 10. So that's kind of out of the question. The knife is an eight. That's really expensive too. So we definitely need that medical part, or medical, mechanical. Of course, the same. Oh, we got two of them over there too. No, we don't. We don't have any of them. Oh, but we need that filter. Yeah. Right. We can't do a filter. She's only got three mechanical parts, a knife, and a med. Well, if we get two, we can build the her herbal guard from her. Eleven. was contemplating whether we should grab the knife so that now we have a weapon and we can start rolling the yellow dice on the raid knights. If we, we only have one person, I know, we can't go and scan it. He has to be at the yeah. guard station. If we don't even be guard, then we lose. Which is why I'm saying that if we get a knife, then we have a better chance of no, not losing anything we, what little we have, <laughs> until the next day when we can try and get somebody else. Yeah. So we can get the knife for eight, and then one mechanical part for two, and we'll have to get rid of the shovel and the locker room, and the electrical part. All that would have to go. Then we'll have a knife and so Fourteen. Two is twelve. We can actually get two. If we if we put all this together, we've got 11, fourteen. We have to pay two. That leaves twelve. Eight. We can get two mechanical parts. So we get two mechanical parts and we can get a knife, which we'll take from the trades. But we lose our shovel. And lock pick and electric. So there we are. Mechanical parts and we have a knife now. Ooh. And then shuffle this back in the visitor's deck. Alright. Sucks when they got one action. Why the hell can't we get anybody's healthy? <laughs> okay, so that was our, our action for the day. Now, we have to drink water. We don't have it. So now we have to roll and see what happens to them. One through five, their hunger will go up by one. Six through ten, will raise their misery by one. Nine. So their misery will go up to a level two. And now hunger, no food. Raise hunger by one. So now he's at a level three hunger, which is very bad. Next one, he'll most likely die. So now we go to the evening. There must be at least one guard on this guard space, otherwise we see three, 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 which usually means gonna die. But he gets a fatigue. Please, hard <laughs> water. Like I said, all these actions, man. All these statuses suck. Which he should have gotten a one from last time, I forgot about that. So he's actually a two fatigue. Yep. Two fatigue, two misery, two wounds, three hunger. <laughs> Things escalate in a hurry. So we won't be doing scavenging, because we have nobody going out there. And we go straight to the night raid. Weapons, we are giving him a knife. So now we have to draw and resolve the top night raid deck. Oh my gosh. Um, this is a raging gang. 
He's not surviving. This is a uh, damage is take any eight tokens, starting with the most expensive. And wounds is five. Now we have the yellow, which is we do have a chance for this hatchet to come up. This hatchet is very important. This will instantly kill them. That is a like a critical strike, we'll say. So if we get that, we ignore the Night Raid card completely and play. Oh, uh, using di oh different weapons. That's only if we had the hatchet. Darn it. But the knife does have a 1, 2, and a 3, plus a fate icon. So, 5 wounds, holy crap. Even if we did three, maybe two. He's gonna die. Either way. I'm, well, I mean, unless we get the script and get magically lucky with fate. I'm fucking throw it down so we get the script. Okay, I'm gonna roll it. Here we go. Minus two. He does get a re-roll. Do we want to re-roll? So kind of have to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of have to. No choice. Here we go. Magic, what? which doesn't do any good because it's considered misses when using different weapons. And we have a knife. Dead. We don't have a hatchet. All we have is a knife. Oh, Darn it! Darn it. <laughs> if only yeah. we had a hatchet. <laughs> no, we don't. Dang it, we were doing so well. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All because of a mine that got stepped on. And that was the hard card, of course. Then when I got mixed in, I shuffled and whoops, guess what came up? Oh damn. Oh, oh be damn. <laughs>